And we're live. You're listening to Let's Talk, the SQPN community podcast. Hi, I'm Dom Bettinelli, and today I'm joined by Jack Barazzini. Hi, Jack. Hey, how's it going? Very well, thank you. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in outside of Boston, where the sun is shining, and it's a, a balmy, uh, what is it now, 52 degrees already. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I'm guessing where you are, it's probably a little warmer than that. but uh, It's going to be 85, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll find out where whereabouts you are to where, where it can be 85 today on uh, March 27th uh, in a second. But uh, first, I want to mention, folks, that uh, just to remind you, this is a special short-form podcast that we're doing here uh, let's let's talk live it's a special podcast we're doing live on uh, facebook and uh, other places uh, you'll be able to watch it later uh, as long as we're all locked down we'll be doing this uh, at least till uh, at least till after easter we're, we're gonna we have our tentative plans our goal here is to provide a little light a little levity some ideas for how to spend your time and most of all we're just trying to stay connected to you our community our audience our listeners our friends uh, and so we want you to be able to catch it live on Facebook uh, each weekday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. And then we'll post it in the Let's Talk audio feed later in the day and on our SQPN YouTube channel as a video that you can watch. So uh, just check it out in all those places. Uh, we're, we're happy to see folks joining us in the chat room. And uh, hopefully that if you can do that, uh, say hi, leave us notes. Uh, comment on what we're talking about as we're going and we'll we'll share some of the comments with the audience as we go so jack tell us a little bit about yourself uh who, who is jack barazzini <laughs> i'm a sysadmin i live in a uh, north alabama so that's that's why it's so hot here right now <laughs> um live here with my wife and son it's a nice area um so i do sysadmin work i've been working from home since all this has been going on so i've been learning a lot about vpn Oh, yes, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I should point out that uh, uh, about a year ago, uh, I put out a call for help, for technical help with our website. And that's what sort of Jack stepped up to volunteer, for which I'm very grateful. And Jack's been helping us uh, main, you know, keep our backups going and that sort of thing. It's one less thing I have to worry about. And uh, he also joined us as a regular panelist on Secrets of Technology. Uh, we're usually on with uh, Thomas and Erho, and we have uh, – we have such great discussions because I think of you and Thomas as my uh, – not, not only as my Linux guys or Android Linux guys because you guys know that stuff, but also as mm -hmm. my we need to be suspicious of the government guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are security conscious guys, and so yep. uh, I, I really enjoy those discussions that we have. Uh, you keep me keep me grounded and uh, – uh, paranoid is actually might be the word I'm looking for there. <laughs> you, you, it's only paranoia if they uh, if they're not out to get you. I forget what it's called. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. Uh, info hat today. Yes. Uh, so I, I probably should talk a little bit about um, uh, what's going on today. Today, like I said, is March 27th. It's Friday in Lent, and it's uh, Pope Francis has announced that today uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern, which I think is. Oh, 7 p.m. Rome time. I forget exactly because our daylight savings in theirs doesn't match up when it changes, but I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. But 1 p.m. Eastern, he's going to be doing a live, uh, or obviously live, he's going to be doing a special blessing of the world uh, from St. Peter's Square. And uh, it, it's called the Urbi et Orbi Blessing. It's Latin for the city and the world. And uh, he usually does it on Christmas and Easter, and then he, the, a, a newly elected pope does one uh, after his election. But uh, but it's a special blessing for the pandemic. And uh, he's they've brought this cross, which was in – oh, he went to the church. He walked there last week uh, to the St. Marcellus, I think it is, mm -hmm. uh, in, in Rome. And this special cross had been processed around the city by one of his predecessors during one of the plagues in, in, in the medieval times or Renaissance times. And, you know, as a as a and there was a miraculous healing. So they brought that cross to the Vatican and he's going to give the blessing from that cross. It's, it's really big. So it's not like he's going to yeah. hold it. But but uh, they're, they're, they're going to have a blessing of the world, which is really cool. And people can watch it online. It'll be streaming on the Catholic TV uh, EWTN, uh, you know the all the usual places. So mm -hmm. uh, that's that's be, awesome. 
cool. People should check that out. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that it will cause a miraculous healing of the world. Everyone's going to see it and say, God has healed the world. We should be, <laughs> we should all go back to church <laughs> and, and, and worship God. That's <laughs> whatever God wills. That would be, it's nice. So uh, I did want to also point out another, uh, just a little bit of SQPN news uh, today. If, uh, if, if you're looking for something to listen to, Jimmy Akin's Mysterious World has a new episode. Uh, about a different kind of disease today, the uh, werewolves, lycanthropy. Is it real? Where do the stories of werewolves come from? How long have we had stories of werewolves in human culture? Uh, so uh, a lot of fun. Uh, definitely, I would check that out uh, at uh, sqpn.com slash mysterious. Uh, so a couple things. And we've got a lot of great stuff planned for Mysterious World uh, coming up in April and May. Uh, our hundredth episode is coming, and so we're going to do a special oh, nice. episode on that. So, uh, and then I want to mention that uh, oh, my T-shirt of the day. Uh, so, let me stand up and show everyone on the camera the T-shirt. Uh, it says "Dad Jokes." <laughs> I got a million of them. That's and, awesome. Yeah. So, uh, I because my kids actually, yeah, they, they. I have one child, my favorite child, who laughs at my dad jokes. The other children just groan and roll their eyes like their mother does. Nice. But, uh, but the favorite. Uh, uh, I have to be careful when I wear this out in public, though, because people will ask me for dad jokes. And it's hard to come up with them off the top of your head. Yeah, yeah. I have to kind of think of ahead of time. Okay, I'm wearing the shirt today. I need to, have to be armed with some dad jokes. Um, and I've got some groaners. I get some really bad ones that I can I can sling out. But uh, Nice. Uh, I should have thought of some for, t- for now, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm sure one will come to you. So, uh, so Jack, how is it going there with, uh, with you? I mean, you mentioned that you're working from home, but uh, how's how are you, you and your your wife, right, uh, dealing with um, being being cooped up, locked locked into the house? Uh, how, how's it working for you guys? Be there. It's it's been good. Um, I mean, we we do a lot of stuff at home anyway. We're both tend to be more introverted, so it's not a crazy transition, mm-hmm. but it is definitely different. Um, I think the hardest thing is it's been raining so much. Oh. And so you can't even go outside. But the past few days have been beautiful. So I've been able to get yard work done and stuff like that. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So and my son's been able to run around outside instead of bouncing off the walls inside. So, but <laughs> yeah. it, it's it's been good. We've been trying to just, you know, make a lot of family time. So that's awesome. Yeah. We've, uh, our five kids are, have been bouncing around a little bit <laughs> <laughs> the last few days. And uh, uh, we're, with the weather being nice, we're, planning i i have to record a couple of podcasts tomorrow during the day with with jimmy uh, some mysterious world episodes but my wife's going to take the kids and uh go to a, a nature preserve where there's herons nesting i think i think that's what they say. oh nice so yeah it's out social distanced from everyone um but uh it just uh, we're it's a we have sort of a a voluntary stay-at-home advisory to limit unnecessary travel but we've mm-hmm. kind of thought this is for mental health <laughs> In physical health, this is necessary. yeah, definitely. So, uh, so that'll, that'll be that'll be nice for them to get out. Yeah, there's definitely uh, nature trails and things like that that you can still utilize even with this going on. Yeah, definitely. Just you know, just keep your distance from folks, and yep. being outside is is good for your health. You know. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. You mentioned doing yard work. I've got a plan. I'm I'm about to m- make an order through Home Depot to have delivered. I'm building some garden beds. Oh, my, nice. My sons. Uh, one of my sons has to do a project, a, a building project for Cub Scouts. So that's what oh, our nice. building project is going to be. So we're going to be building some garden beds. And uh, maybe I'll share some photos of the hilarity that will ensue as I try <laughs> to build a garden bed in my backyard. Yeah. Yeah, I love yard work. It's just uh, mm. getting up the motivation. Yes, yes. So. You mentioned, uh, you know, as an introvert, you pretty much stay at home. My wife and I are both sort of introverted. I know people get surprised because I'm podcaster and I, I do all this but we're both sort of we prefer to kind of be homebodies in, in mm-hmm. many ways uh and i saw a meme online that said introverts of the world we've been preparing for this all our lives <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> lockdown so it's definitely uh, true yeah so one of the things we're doing is uh, we're, we're, we want to give folks recommendations of things that they can do or watch or you know to spend the time that they've got now uh, when they're not out going to restaurants and clubs and whatever else those extroverts do. So, uh, Jack, do you, what do you have for a recommendation for folks today? I'm going to recommend Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Oh, yes. Yes. So, the which best in my, Yes, <laughs> I agree. It's the best one. It has 
I, I've liked Discovery and I've liked Picard, but it has the problem where because seasons are shorter now with television shows, you don't get episodes like Take Me Out to the Hollow Suite or um can't remember the name of it, but the one where they basically do Ocean's Eleven on the holodeck. Yes. Like, I like how in Deep Space Nine you can have like the whole Dominion War arc and these deeper themes, but then you can also take time out for fun episodes, which you don't get a lot of times with newer television. That's so true. With new television where it's 10 episodes or 13 episodes, it's very like, ah, uh, frenetic. Like it, you get all this action, right. but there isn't time, which I really like. Time for to take a breath and to do some side things like that. You're right. You, uh, that's so true. Uh, uh, that's one of the things I liked about Deep Space Nine is because it could be so intense with the D- the Dominion War stuff. Mm-hmm. But getting that those extra side things that just kind of break the break the tension. But it's still, right. It's still more Star Trek. So yeah, and it uh it it has a good balance of episodic and serialized, which I think things now are very very serialized, mm-hmm. which I like. But it's also nice where. Even like with um, Next Generation, we have episodes like Data's Day. Like you don't get that in television nowadays. No, no, you don't. Uh, in fact, I think Deep Space Nine may have been one of the first series to really lean into that arc, ser- you know, thing. Yeah, it was that and Babylon Five, which obviously oh, yeah. you can make comparisons between those two. <laughs> <laughs> which we have on Secrets of Star Trek. Yeah. We did an episode last summer, I think. Uh, Father Corey and uh, Jimmy Aiken, when I was on vacation, they did an episode comparing the two, and it's a uh, it's oh, nice. it is very interesting that uh, uh, that I'm I'm actually still watching Babylon Five. I didn't have access to it when it was airing. I lived in Steubenville, where we didn't have mm-hmm. the whatever channel it was airing on. I forget which channel it was airing on at the time. So I've I've n- I never got to watch it at the time. So I'm I'm now watching it slowly. Oh, nice uh, to catch up and because and. It ages well, you know. the The graphics are a little old, but the the effects are not great. But the story is good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, I also would say that Deep Space Nine is probably the easiest Star Trek for non Trekkies to get into. Mm-hmm. Like, I know a lot of people say start with Next Generation, but I feel like Deep Space Nine is more character driven and has more continuity, and it feels more modern than yeah. Next Generation. I would say, like with my wife, you know, we've been. You know, stuck inside, so I've been getting her into that because she's not really watched Star Trek beyond the new movies. Right. Yeah, and I think Deep Space Nine's first season is much better than T- TNG's first season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. <laughs> the, the, the ratio of good episodes to bad episodes is better for Deep Space Nine. That's that's for sure. Uh, awesome. So that those that's, that's a good recommendation, and there's seven seasons of that, uh, 23 yeah. episodes a season, so there's plenty to watch. Yeah, you, you won't run out anytime soon. My pick is going to be something that you can't watch just yet, but you will next month, although you could catch up if you haven't watched yet. And that is the Amazon Prime series Bosch, uh, based on the detective novels by, I want to say Michael Conley. I didn't look it up, but I think that's his name. Um, So uh, Hieronymus Bosch is the name of the detective. He's not just his parents had the the bad taste to name him after the (laughs) Dutch artist. (laughs) But uh, he's a great... uh, um, uh, um, what am I saying? A detective, Los Angeles detective, and uh, it's a it's a prime Amazon Prime series. It's really good. I just the, the especially the first couple seasons. It really I don't know that it's got a great classic detective feel. He's an old school sort of detective. Uh, I really enjoy it, and I'm I'm definitely looking forward forward to the 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 sixth season. Titus Welliver is the uh, actor. I think it's I think I hmm. said that right. And it's also uh, an interesting name. Yes, it is. And he's a great actor. I've liked him in a lot of things. He was actually in Lost, uh, the last season of Lost and some other stuff. So uh, he's really good. I really enjoy his work. So uh, so that's what I'm going to recommend. So the new season is out. The sixth season is out April 17th. But you, that means you have time to catch up watching oh, nice. the prior seasons. So very good. I'll have All to right. check that out. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good one. So uh, before we finish up, we're we're... I think that's a, a good length of time. We, we do want to take a moment to thank our patrons who make it possible for us to create Let's Talk. Their generous donations at sqpn.com slash let's talk. Sorry, slash give. sqpn.com slash give. Make it possible for us to continue Let's Talk and all the shows at StarQuest. And uh, we we really do need your help at this time. We're, we're trying to close our funding gap. Uh, we still have a, a deficit, and uh, we, we really need to close the gap. And it's a tough time really uh, for all of us uh, and tough time for us to ask, but uh, 
we we can't keep going the way we are with what we're doing if if we don't uh, if we don't close that gap. So we really appreciate it. if you could visit sqpn.com/give and help us however you can. So uh, that's it from us. You can contact us by visiting sqpn.com or the StarQuest Facebook page if you're not already watching us there. Uh, that page is facebook.com slash starquestmedia. And uh, you can send an email to let's talk at sqpn.com. And I'll put links to the different things we talked about today on our website at sqpn.com slash let's talk. Until next time, Jack Barazzini, thank you for joining me on Let's Talk. Thanks, Tom. And once again, I'm Dom Bettinelli. Thank you for listening to Let's Talk on StarQuest. <laughs>